everyone. I'm Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb and Aviation Consumer. I'm at Sarasota Avionics, which is a busy shop in southwest Florida. They do a lot of aftermarket glass panels here. One thing all of these glass panel displays have in common is that they have an attitude indicator on top and a horizontal situation indicator on the bottom. It would be a great idea if you could combine those two instruments into a single display. Well, that's a, exactly what Advanced Flight Systems has done, and here's Rob Hickman to explain how it works. Our thinking was, by moving the HSI from the traditional spot more to the middle, the pilot doesn't have to actually move his scan down below and up above off the horizon. So here you're, especially once you're on an ILS approach or following a VOR, every, all your navigation's in the middle, your focus is in the middle of the screen, and once you add synthetic vision with flight path markers, your runways appear and it, it removes the scan off of the display. We actually implemented two versions, our standard HSI display at the lower part of the traditional display, and then we have our new integrated display, which everything in the middle. We find most pilots, before they fly our equipment, feel like they would like the standard one. Once they've actually flown that, I think it's been almost 100%, people prefer this after flying it in real life. The engine monitor can be selected on or off. If any of the parameters get into a, into a red arc, it will automatically pop up. We also have audio alert, so if you lose oil pressure, you're flying along, it'll ch say check oil pressure. The AOA display declutters, so it's on the display whenever you can set a certain angle of attack level, so maybe 10 degrees, anything above that, the AOA will pop up and alert you. But then if you're below that, when you don't need it, it declutters and then the display is open. For more information, log on to advanced-flight-systems.com. Thanks for watching.